First of all, as you can, first of all, as you can see, it is not like a cheese sign, but acts like it. So first of all, as you may notice, it will walk in a straight line and if it reaches the ledge, it turns around. But also, if I stand away, also turn around because I'm a wall, so it doesn't go past me. This will work for any other walls too, not just for me. Anyways, um, there's no animation for it yet because. Okay, so first of all, these are the ways you can stun him. You can stun him by jumping on his head. And he will be stunned. There's no stun animation. You can be you can stun there's no stun animation, but you'll stun you'll be stunned for five seconds. I can do it again. You see also there's particles when I jump on his head. You can also stun him by rolling into him. He is also stunned by that. Another way you can stun him is by running at Mach 1, which is basically the beginning Mach. I see he is stunned. Okay, so it's laggy for me, but if you want to make it less laggy for you, you can either make it do less particles, or you can uh, make the cheese slime uh, move locally by the player. But that's a that's pretty advanced. So, anyways, you can also stun him by diving into him. I don't. I, Okay, and yeah, I think that's a, all the ways you can stun him. Also, you can pick him up and throw him in the in the grab, just like every other NPC. But I don't want to do that because that'll kill him. I can't show you everything else. Hello, fella. Yeah, it's not easy to aim. Is he gonna die? It is if is yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna show this trip. First of all, in mock run, we didn't change that much stuff. Uh, first, first thing we changed was this. We added this, and that's basically, basically this just has if you're rolling, diving, or mock running at him, and he'll get stunned. And we added this and added this, which basically just is just a body slam kill. Okay, inside script. And where is script? Well, it's in the new cheese slime NPC. The first thing about this NPC you notice is uh, he doesn't have to be yellow. If, if he's not yellow, it won't kill you. Okay, the first thing that you might want to do is actually insert the script. After you did that, uh, we have these variables. Debounce is so it doesn't don't kill him more than one time. Counter so you don't you don't make him like it, it makes his stun good. And this st stun variable controls if he's stunned or not. While true, it's a forever loop because he walks forever. This would that well this will detect if you jump on his head and stun him. And yeah, the stuns uh, over here and also emits the particles. Oh yeah, there's a particle in the humanoid root pad too. You can change that if you want. And it moves. This is text if you, if any, if like the mock input like it stuns, like if the mock input like fires the remote event of stunning or killing the enemy, it will happen. And uh, this basically just is uh, if the enemy is killed with a mock run, it'll do all of this and it will uh, do 10 particles and if not stunned it will this is the script of moving basically it moves uh it moves uh to start at a time and it, we cast two rays one checks if there's a thing in front of it the other checks if there's something not in front of it well the thing that's checking down in front of it is basically for checking if it's about to fall off a cliff Basically, if it's about to fall off a cliff or if there's a wall in front of it, it will turn exactly 180 degrees around. And yeah, that's basically it. This is basically the script. Uh, join the Discord server and there will be uh, there there will be the cheese slime. Uh, I'll put uh, files of the cheese slime 
and the new mock input that you can uh, you can you can download and you can import it into Roblox Studio. Uh, yeah, there's, I think we're going to be doing that for now and not paste bins. Uh, yeah, and I highly encourage you.